Hello dear students, so now today we would move ahead in this second chapter of class 8th mathematics that is parts. So today I have some new questions for you. Question is find x if means you have to find the value of x from here. If first question is 1 by 4 whole raised to the power minus 4 multiply 1 by 4 again whole raised to the power minus 8 is equals to 1 by 4 whole raised to the power minus 4x there. So you have to find out the value of this x here. Okay. Now just let's solve this one question. How do you solve? Now if you see, as I have already told you, if the base, if if, if the bases are same, the exponents are going to be added. Yes or not? We have already done these uh, done these sort of questions. If the bases are same, like it is, if a raised to the power n is to be multiplied by a raised to the power n, then you are going to add these all. It can be it would become a raised to the power m plus n here. Getting it or not? So similar condition is here also. You have the same base 1 by 4, 1 by 4. So the exponents are going to be added or the powers are going to be added. So I would write it like 1 by 4 whole raised to the power minus 4 plus plus minus 8. So this minus 8 I would write inside the bracket there. Are you getting this or not? Good. Would be equals to now, what is there? 1 by 4, whole raised to the power minus 4x. Now if you see, it is 1 by 4, whole raised to the power minus 4 plus into minus. If you see plus, this would multiply inside, this would go inside and it would multiply inside. So plus into minus would become minus 8. And this would be equals to 1 by 4, whole raised to the power minus 4x. So I can write it as, 1 by 4 minus and minus are going to be added then sign would be of the negative one are you getting it or not yes so i would write it as minus 12 4 plus 8 would be 12 sign is negative okay it would be equals to 1 by 4 health is the power minus 4x now you are to find out the value of x from here so how do you find out the value of c if the bases are same remember this so when the bases are same then then what? We can directly equate the exponents. If it is like this, again one more formula you have to write somewhere where you are writing all the formulae of this one chapter. If it is like, like this, if it is a raised to the power m is equals to a raised to the power n. So in that sense, because the bases are same, so exponents also would be equal. So you would write m equals to n. You can write it like this. Getting it or not? So this is the next formula. If it is a raised to the power m is equals to a raised to the power n, then you can directly equate m is equals to n. So here also I can write minus because the bases are same 1 by 4, 1 by 4. I can directly equate minus 4 would be equals to minus 4x. So I would write minus 12 equals to minus 4x. Getting it or not? Both are having the negative sign, would cancel each other, would become positive. We need the value of x from here. So how do you find out the value of x? x would be equals to. Now if you see this 4 is multiplying here. So you need the value of x. So this 4 has to come here. So as it is multiplying here. Means it is 4 multiply x it is. Okay. So it would divide here. So I would write it as 12 by 4. So this is how I can find out the value of x as 3. So what would be the value of x here? That is 4, 3, 12. Means the value of x is here 3. Getting it or not? Okay. Just note it down. Then you would move ahead. And this is the next question here. Question is minus 1 by 2 whole is the power minus 19 is to be divided by minus 1 by 2 whole is the power 8 and it is equals to minus 1 by 2 minus 2x plus 1. This is the power there. Okay. Now in the previous one, there was a sign of multiplication. Here it is the sign of division here. Now let me tell you one more, one, one more rule here that you have to know. Okay. Write all these rules, whatever I am telling to you somewhere in your notebook. Okay. So the rule is if it is a is the power m and it is to be divided by a is the power n. Getting? Good. So I can write it as a is the power m minus n. This denominator one would be subtracted there. If it is a is the power m is to be divided by a is the power n means both have the same base here but the exponents are different. So you would subtract the exponents here m minus n. I can write it as a is the power m minus n. It is same or 
it is same you can write it like this also if it is a raised the power m divided by a raised the power m similar it is divided by means i just changing the sign here okay so i can write it as again a raised the power m minus n is it clear to you very good so similar condition is here also here also we have the same base if the bases are same the exponents are going to be subtracted you would subtract minus 19 minus 8 so can i write it like this can i write it like minus 1 by 2 whole is the power minus 19 minus 8 is it correct to write yes because we have the formula there if the bases are same if the bases are same the exponents are going to be subtracted you would subtract m minus n so here also i have written minus 19 minus 8 getting so what is there now minus 1 by 2 whole raised the power minus 2x plus 1 now if you see it is minus 1 by 2 whole is the power minus and minus both are going to be added sign would be of the negative so 19 minus sorry 19 8 and it would be 27 minus minus are going to be added sign would be of the negative one and here also minus 1 by 2 power would be minus 2x plus 1 it implies you can write it now if you see again the similar question we have done the previous one also if the bases are same so you can equate the exponents here so i would equate all both the exponents here we have done this sort of question there the previous one okay so i would equate both the exponents so it would be 27 because the bases are same here so i would equate the exponents also okay so minus 27 would be equals to minus 2x plus 1 so from here i need the value of x so how would i find out the value of x from here can you find it yes for finding out the value of x this minus 2x would remain here this one has to go there so it would be minus 27 this is sine of 1 is plus would become negative here and minus 2x would remain there now if you see minus minus are going to be added sign would be of the negative so 27 and 1 would be 28 it would be equals to minus 2x minus minus are going to be cancelled okay so from here you have the value of x so x would be equals to this 2 is multiplying here so it would divide here so you would write it as 28 by 2 it implies x would be 14 so what would be the value of x from here it would be 14 getting it or not okay just note it down so here similar questions again i have given to you third and fourth both are similar to the previous question we have already done this sort of questions 3 by 2 whole is the power minus 3, 3 by 2 whole is the power 5, multiplication sign is here equals to 3 by 2 whole is the power 2x plus 1, again you have to find out the value of x from here, so you can find it, so third and fourth question you have to do on your own, so let me tell you the fifth one question, how would you do this one question, again, let me tell you the fifth one, okay, third and fourth you are to going to solve on your own, now if you see, as I have already told you, if it is a is the power m is to be divided by a is the power n, you can write it as a is the power m minus n. If the exponents, so you are to subtract the exponent in case of the division sign. In case of, had it been the multiplication sign here, then you would have added there. Okay, but right now the sign is division 1, so you are going to subtract it. Are you getting? Very good. So here also, the sign is of the division 1, means you are going to subtract the exponent. So you would write it as 5 by 4 whole is the power minus x minus this one minus 4 you would write in bracket because you have already you are to subtract this both the exponent okay and it would be equals to 5 by 4 raised the power 5 now if you see it would be 5 by 4 so it would be minus x this minus would go inside so minus and minus multiply minus would become plus so d plus 4 and it would be equals to 5 by 4 whole is the power 5. Now again if the bases are same so exponents are also you can equate the exponents also. So exponents would also be equal. So it would be minus x plus 4 would be equals to 5. Getting it or not? Good. So x minus x would remain here. So 4 would go there. The sign of 4 is plus and would become minus there. So from here minus x would be equals to 1. So from here you have the value of x, this minus would go there and again this would become minus 1. Minus x is equal to 1, so x would be equals to minus 1. So this is how you can find out the value of x from here. Just note it down. And this would be the last question of today. Question is, 8 by 3 whole is the power 2x plus 1. Multiply 
multiplied by 8 by 3 whole is the power 5 is equal to 8 by 3 whole is the power x plus 2 again you have to find out the value of x from here so you have x at two places here okay so similar to the previous one we also do this one question also now if you see we have already done if it is a raised the power m multiply a raised the power n then at that time you are going to add the exponent m plus n it would become had there been uh, the sign of the division one then you would have subtracted the exponent at that time like we have done in the previous one question okay so here the sign is of multiplication we are going to add the exponent so i would write it as 8 by 3 whole is the power 2x plus 1 i would add there 5 getting it or not it would be equals to 8 by 3 whole is the power x plus 2 getting it or not so it implies now if you see 5 plus 1 would be how much? 6. So it would be 8 by 3 whole is the power 2x plus 6 would be equals to 8 by 3 whole is the power x plus 2. So from here, if the base, if the bases are same, you can equate the exponent. Because the bases are same, 8 by 3, 8 by 3. So you would equate the exponent. So you would write 2x plus 6. This would be equals to x plus 2. You need the value of x. But you have x at two places. So the x should be at one place. Okay. Both the x should be at one place. So this 2x would remain here. This one x would come here. This 2x would remain here. This one x would come here. The sign of this one x is plus. And if it is coming here, the sign would become minus x. Okay. Would be equals to. This one 2 would remain here. Remember, this one 2 would remain here. This 6 has to go there. This sign of this one 6 is plus. If it is going there, sign would become minus 6. Is it clear to you? Means you have the unknown quantities at same place and the known one at same place. Here. You need the value of x. So x and x should be at one place. And where x is not there, should be at the another place. There. Getting? Good. Now, if you see 2x minus x. If you are subtracting 1x from 2x, how many x's would be there? Only 1x. So you would write 1x. Means 2x minus x would be 1x means x. So this would be equals to 2 minus 6 is how much? Minus 4. So this would be the answer. So this is how you would solve the given questions. So that's all for today. See you in the next lecture. Till then stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you. Have a good day.